What's up YouTube? Today we're going to talk about the five things that you need to work on as a new barber. What's up guys? Keep in jump on No Shave November, you know how I do. So anyways, welcome back to another video today. And today we're going to talk about five things that I think that every new barber should work on. We're going to start with number one. And I listed these from number one to five. Number one being most important to me. And number five being like the, the follow through. Put that on your list. Okay, so number one is consultations. Good consultations. Knowing is half the battle. So the more you can figure out about what the person wants, the better you can approach it. As a new barber, the last thing you want to do is take somebody's pay too high, take too short, cut the haircut wrong because you're trying to build a clientele so you want them as happy as possible so they will come back and bring people with them, right? So better consultations is my number one. Number two is repetitions. Repetitions, repetitions, repetitions. The more hair you can cut, the better. Whether you're cutting for money or just handing out haircuts just for practice, the more haircuts you can do, the better off you'll be. Number three is consistency. If you do something and you like the way it turned out, do it again, do it again, do it again. Consistency comes with repetition. So repetition, consistency, those two go together. The more consistent you can become, the more people will want to come back to you because they know that they can just sit down and you know what they want. Number four, branding. As a new barber, you are now your own brand. Whether you work for a shop or work for yourself or do house calls or however you're doing it, cut out your house, whatever. You are now a brand. You are a you are a business you. So by branding yourself, you need to put yourself out there that you cut hair. This is how much you charge. These are your availability hours. This is what you go by. This is your Instagram. This is your Facebook. However, brand yourself so that people know how to find you and know who you are and what you do. Branding is huge in the barbering industry. If people don't know who you are, they don't know where to find you, how are you going to get business? So, branding, number four. Number five, rounding out the list, but it's also really, really important. So I put it as five to kind of square everything off. It's like, here's a complete package of what you need. So, number five is patience. Barbering is a long game, y'all. You can come in being icy in one area, trends change, always learn more things always invest in your education but be patient don't rush don't rush the process fall in love with the process um, don't jump ahead of yourself you know what I'm saying be patient work hard follow the list that we put out you know what I'm saying one through five this is five obviously but one through four you know consistency branding repetitions consultation okay so patience is key man patience 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 I know you want to jump out there, you want to start making the most money, you want to have the most fire cuts, all that stuff. But patience is key. Patience, patience, patience. It's gonna come. Put in the work. The results will come. I promise you. Eat your vegetables, drink your water, say your prayers, and work yo ass off. Sorry about my language, but put in the time, be patient, and I promise you, you'll be successful. This has been the Barber TZ, signing off. I appreciate the love. I will see you on the next video. Like the video, share this for somebody that you know that needs it, and drop a comment below. I appreciate y'all's love. Peace.